guys, it's Rachel. So today I have a new video for you guys and it's all about the Apple Watch. So I've gotten a ton of questions on Instagram about the Apple Watch and so I decided to make this video as sort of a review. It's not a high tech review but just my personal experience with the Apple Watch and sort of my opinion on whether or not it was worth it. So I'm going to go over my four favorite things about the watch and my four least favorite things about the watch and sort of just summing up my opinions overall. So to start off, this is the box that the Apple Watch came in. And so I have the Apple Watch Series 3 38 millimeter gold aluminum sport band. So I did not get the LTE version of the watch, which is more expensive. And the reason is that the way that a, the watch really works is really just working with your iPhone. And so the one downside of having no LTE is that you have to be within range of your phone to be able to use the web features of the watch. But it's very, very rare that I am far from my phone. And even when I go on a run and I don't want to take my phone, I still do wear the watch. And then once I get back, it does have all the information once it re-syncs up with the phone. So personally, I don't think that it's worth it to get the LTE phone unless you have a really specific reason or you are away from your phone a lot. But personally, the GPS version was perfect for me. So I'm going to start with the positive. So the first and most important thing for me is the activity tracking. So one of the main reasons I bought the phone was for the heart rate monitor because I really wanted to get a handle on my workouts to really kind of track my progress and see how I'm doing from a bigger level than just how many minutes of workout I'm doing, really from a heart rate level, and I knew that this would give me all the tools that I needed. And before I had a heart rate monitor, but I never remembered to wear it, and so it just really didn't fit in with my lifestyle, whereas the watch is really easy to wear. I wear it anytime I work out and throughout the day, and the tracking is really, really easy to use. So basically, when I wanna do a workout, I tap on the workout man, and then here I have listed some of the activities that I do normally. So high intensity interval training is what I use most days if I'm going to CrossFit or Orange Theory. Then you can also do things like a walk, a run, and I also do use the run function. So you can see some of the different options. And then you can actually with the app on iPhone, add more different types of workouts. So you have them all here on your phone. And the reporting is really, really detailed. And that's what I love, is I can really get a sense of where my heart rate zones were throughout my workout. I can get a sense of how many calories I burned based on my true health data. And overall, that has been my biggest, biggest pro for the Apple Watch. I really think it has amazing features for anyone who's really active and wants to track their fitness progress. And because it is an Apple product, it works amazingly with the iPhone. So that was something when I looked at Fitbits or the Garmin watch, I was just a little concerned that it wouldn't fit in as easily to my lifestyle. And I've been really happy to say that the Apple Watch has fit in perfectly. It works really well with what I'm doing and my active lifestyle. So that kind of brings me into number two, which is usability with iPhone and Apple products. So I've had an iPhone for so long, and right now I use the Apple uh, 7 Plus iPhone. I haven't quite switched over to the X yet. I'm waiting for September, but it works flawlessly with the iPhone, and that's what's amazing about all Apple products. They really do work seamlessly together, and I have to say, with the watch, I've been really impressed at the synchronization between the watch and the phone. In addition to the watch and the phone, it really works well with my Apple AirPods, and those I use when I'm on a run or doing a workout, and that is amazing to have that great connection between the two. As soon as I turn the, put the AirPods in, they can connect really fast to the watch or the phone, and so I really do highly recommend the Apple AirPods as well. So truly, in my opinion, the Apple Watch works as an extension of your iPhone. I think that's the best way to describe it. On the screen, you have all of your apps, all the apps that are compatible with Apple Watch. You get all your notifications, all your calls will come in through your watch as well. So it's great, you get, get your emails, your text messages, all that kind of stuff will come to your watch so you can be away from your phone. And that's something I really love is that I think that we so easily are constantly checking our phone, looking for those notifications. And 
sometimes there's no notifications on the phone, but we have this tendency, I have a tendency to constantly be checking and checking and checking my phone. But with the watch, I really feel like I can just set my phone down and do other things throughout the day and know that if there is a text, I won't miss it. It'll still be on my watch, but I don't have to be as glued to my phone. So that's definitely something that I really like. And my boyfriend, Jerry, got the black version uh, of the watch and that's again for him what he says he loves the most about the watch is that he can be away from his phone he can get the notifications on his watch and it's kind of nice if you're in an environment where it might be inappropriate to check your phone like a work meeting you can just look at your watch and have the notification without kind of being a little bit more rude and so you'll know if it's something important just by taking a quick peek and then returning to your conversation or whatever it might be so I really do like that about the watch so number three is something that I think not everyone knows about the Apple watch but it's a feature that I love 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 and it is the camera remote so you can actually use your Apple watch as a remote for your camera on your iPhone so this is how it works basically when you're on your watch you just toggle to this application. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. It just shows this. And then if you have your iPhone unlocked, it can open the camera. So it connects to your camera wirelessly. And then the image of what you're taking a picture of actually shows up on the watch. So you can take a selfie or a picture together. What I really love is we'll do it with my boyfriend's watch and then his watch can be the trigger for my phone or his phone. So what I really love is, you know, you can take pictures as a couple and this is basically your remote. You can see how you look in the photo and then you click on the button and the photo is taken and then you have that photo on your iPhone. How cool is that? So that's something I really love. It's a great way to take selfies or photos with somebody else and if somebody is not there to take your photo you can use it as like a remote control so that I really love and unlike a regular Bluetooth remote control you actually see the image of what you're taking the photo of which is a huge bonus so you can see how you look in the watch before you click the trigger to take the photo so the last pro the fourth thing I love about the phone is how customizable it is so you can change the watch face to your lifestyle so there's a lot of different options on the watch that you can use to customize the face of your watch. So you can see I have this one called modular. And so to me, it has everything that I need. It has the date, the time, the temperature. And then down here on the bottom, you have the workout uh, starter. So that's gonna start your workout. I also have my emails and my text messages. So those are the things that are the most important to me, but you can customize it. So you can change any of these different features to be kind of what's most important to you. And that's just one of the faces. So here's some other faces. There's the utility face, which has kind of the traditional analog watch. You have extra large. So this one just shows the time, but if you just want to know what time it is on your watch, this one's great. And you can even customize the colors on this. So here's some of the different colors you have. So if you're someone who's really into fitness and that's really the main reason you have the watch, the activity digital watch uh, face can be great because here you have your move goal, all these different things, the amount of activity you've done during the day and your heart rate up front. And then if you wanna add new ones, you can do that within your phone. So within the Apple Watch app you, on the iPhone, you can change what faces you want to customize onto your watch. So those are my favorite things about the Apple Watch and kind of how I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. So now I'm gonna go into four cons. So four things that I don't love about the Apple Watch and sort of why. So the first thing is that you kind of expect to have all the same apps on your iPhone on your watch, and that's really not the case. There are a lot of apps that you cannot access via the watch. Two huge examples are Instagram and Twitter. So I hate that I can't scroll through either of those on the watch. Instagram you used to be able to use, but it's never worked for me. And so that's something that I don't love about the phone. You can still get notifications from apps, but then you would have to check the notification on your phone and you're not able to access it via the watch. So for me, that was a big downside to the watch. Number two is turn on features. And so that is to say there are features of the phone that you have to turn on that I just like always forget. So for example, if you want to do a workout, at first I thought maybe because it is a heart rate monitor, once your heart rate is elevated, it would start recording the workout for you, but that is not the case. You have to click on the workout, may I call them the workout man, the workout icon on your watch in order to start the workout. And so I can't tell you when I first got the watch, so many workouts I didn't record, I didn't understand how to record them, and it was such a bummer to me that I could not have those data points because 
I didn't report it correctly. Another thing like that is the uh, water feature. So the iPhone can go underwater. I'm not sure on the exact specs. So you have to turn on the water droplet and I'll show you how to do it. And then if you want to use your phone again, you need to turn and unlock it. So this is just to me something that's annoying because I never remember to turn things like that on. I don't use the water function that much, but for example, I've been doing dishes and my watch is getting sprayed and then I don't even think about the fact that I hadn't even turned the water thing on. So I haven't had any issues with water damage to it, but I just kind of wish that maybe there was a way that the iPhone could detect when you're in water and turn it on automatically. So that's something, there's just things that for someone who doesn't always remember like myself, it can be annoying. So number three is music. Ugh. So I was gutted to find out that you can only listen to Apple Music using the watch. And I guess it makes sense, of course, because Apple wants to promote Apple Music, but you cannot use Spotify on your phone. And I'm a Spotify Premium member, so I pay 10 bucks a month to use Spotify, and I'm not able to listen to Spotify on my watch, which truly makes me so mad because I have great playlists on Spotify, but I just can't listen to them when I'm running. So I was forced to buy some playlists and move some music to Apple Music to my iTunes to have something to listen to. Because what I do love about the watch is I can just wear this on a run and not have to have my phone. But in order to listen to music with my AirPods, it has to be music that I've downloaded in some way. So that to me was a huge, 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 huge downside and something to consider when purchasing the Apple Watch. Four is actually two-ish reasons. Um, the first one I almost don't want to include because it's obviously just a personal opinion, but I do not love the look of the Apple Watch. I find it to be a little bit masculine, and even with the different bands, I have different bands, but personally I just don't love wearing it all the time. I just don't think it goes with a lot of my nicer outfits. I think it's a little too sporty even with the nicer band. I just prefer a circular watch Face. and this one is quite thick. It's actually thicker than the model before. So in my opinion, I just wish that it was a little bit more feminine of a design. So if I were to design an Apple Watch, I would love it to be a circular face and a little bit thinner. And that way, I just think it would go with a lot more outfits. So that's just a personal one. And then another part of this is the charging. To me, the fact that you cannot use your regular iPhone cable, lightning cable, which is used for iPads, iPhones, AirPods, you cannot use it to charge the watch. You have to use their wireless charger that comes with it. And to me, that's just such a pain in the ass because I have a million, I mean, so many lightning cables, but I only have one Apple Watch cable. And so if I lose that, you're just totally screwed. You have to buy a new one and they're quite expensive. So I just wish that they would add a lightning dock I just think it would make it so much easier to charge it. I know that technically that would take up more space and I want it to be smaller, but at the same time, I just really think that the charging, only having that wireless charger is just a huge disadvantage. In the end, do I think the Apple Watch is worth it? That depends on your lifestyle. I think if you're someone who's really interested in a lot of the activity features, workout features, heart rate monitoring, it is worth it. But I think that that really is the best of the best of the watch. So if that's not something that you totally are interested in, it might not be worth the investment because it is an expensive watch. But if you do really wanna disconnect from your phone and be able to see your calendar alerts, the time, your notifications, just on your watch all the time, that is a big benefit. And I know that's something that my boyfriend personally loves about his watch, even though he isn't big into fitness. So that's all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions about the Apple Watch or other videos you'd like to see. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.